Hey y'all, how y'all doing? This is your girl Tashi, and I am back with another video. How you doing? How you feeling? <laughs> I don't know what I was doing. Anyway, let's get straight to this video. This is Drake's worst nightmare. <laughs> 128 days removed from the debut of Not Like Us. And since then, Kendrick has really only done two things, which were his live performance in concert. Why you trying to like a that you trying to strike a chord? And then, of course, also releasing the actual video for the number one song in the world. But other than that, it has been mostly radio silence from the rapper. That was until yesterday when he dropped the announcement that he would be headlining the Super Bowl halftime show this year. What the deal, everybody? My name is Kendrick Lamar, and I'll be performing at Super Bowl 59. Will you be pulling up? <laughs> I hope so. I hope so. You know it's only one opportunity to win a championship. No round twos. Let's get it. Boom. <laughs> Meet me in New Orleans. February 9th, 2025. So I just I just finished watching a a, a video when it was talking about, you know, uh, he's going to be performing at the Super Bowl, but not uh, Lil Wayne. So it's like people are upset about that. I wish both I wish both of them could uh, perform there. You know, now, since Lil Wayne's the from there. Right here. You know, there's only one opportunity to win a championship. No round twos. This, of course, was Kendrick once again trolling Drake. As a couple of weeks ago, Drake was posting onto his Finstagram that he would win round two of the beef. I'll put it in the front page, back page, middle page, wherever. Headliners, column one or two, we will win game two. <laughs> this is crazy. We will win game two. This, of course, had all of Drake's biggest fanboys pitching a tent in their pants. Game two, we will win. That's a fact. Hey. This the new thing. Drake in five. Drake in five, people. <laughs> Only the real understand that, bro. What's Only understood real... don't need to be explained. Y'all gonna watch it. Y'all are watching it. Hey. The other thing people were saying was that this had to be a callback to a line from First Person Shooter, the notorious song that apparently kicked off this entire beef. This was of course where J. Cole and Drake finally would collaborate once again, and apparently Drake also wanted Kendrick on this song, but he refused. Drake hit up Kendrick to say, hey, we got an open for you, it's me and Cole, come holla at me, do the song. Kendrick doesn't do the song, then he hears the song, and the song is a bunch of niggas who's talking about me and you as a Spider Man meme and blah 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 blah. And <laughs> he says, Man, these bum ass niggas who couldn't get a feature from me is now acting like they're number one and number two. Both of them. Here, J. Cole raps. Love when they argue the hardest MC. Is it K Dot? Is it Aubrey or me? We are the big three, like we started a league, but right now I feel like Muhammad Ali. Now, obviously. Oh my God. <laughs> the reason I'm laughing because this whole situation is just funny to me. I mean, they all need to just make a song together at this point, okay? Because this beef is just funny to me. The reason I said it's funny because, like, I don't know what's the real reason why they have beef. Like, personal reasons i don't know what's going on with them too uh but they do need to make a song together <laughs> and to stop just stop this whole foolishness <laughs> kendrick would respond to the big three controversy on the future single like that where he says the big three is just big me and that pretty much anyone standing in his way including both drake and j cole could get the smoke now eventually j cole I like J. Cole. I like J. Cole. I don't know why. I just love how the way he raps. You know, I just love how he raps. Oh my God. I, yes, we all know I didn't even know he had J. beef with J. Cole. Back down, and it was probably in his best interest to do so and not get caught up in this carnage. Don't get caught up in it. Right here tonight is in the midst of me doing that and, and in that shit. Trying to find a little angle and downplay this, this nigga's fucking... Uh, catalog and his greatness. I want to say right now tonight, how many people think Kendrick Lamar is one of the greatest motherfuckers to ever touch a fucking microphone? He's one of the greatest. He is. No one uh, can deny that. Song, Drake in the chorus says, Big is the what? Big is the what? Big is the what? 
big as the Super Bowl. Now even back at that time, a lot of people did see that as a shot at Kendrick because back Damn. in 2022, Kendrick came out during the legendary Super Bowl halftime performance with Dr. Dre, Snoop Dogg, 50 Cent, and Eminem. Let me ask you guys something. You don't think that J. Cole and Drake felt some type of way about not being invited to perform here? Granted, they are not from California like Kendrick, but these are all the legendary rappers they looked up to during their childhood. So for Kendrick to get the nod here and to get to share the stage with them probably pissed these guys off. So I would not be surprised if that was what that line was about. And if so, it's even more hilarious that Kendrick will now be the headliner. While once again, not so subtly trolling Drake here in the promotional announcement for the event. Like if Kendrick goes out there and has this crowd full of people, including hundreds of millions of more watching from their homes, Damn. calling this man a PDF file in unison, it's truly over. Now I also saw a lot of people online upset that Little Wayne oh, was not invited to headline this, this crazy. event. crazy. As he has expressed interest in the idea of doing so, mainly because it will be in his home city of New Orleans. Think about this for a second. Lil Wayne, headline Super Bowl in New Orleans. How badly do you want to hear those words? Just as bad as I would want to see my name at the top of that list when I was that whatever age it was, and I would bust into the office and get that Billboard magazine. And I perform at mm -hmm. the Grammys, and that's an amazing thought. And the reason why, that's probably the next highest feeling of the but nah. But honestly, if you've seen clips of Lil Wayne performing over the last couple of years, with respect to him, because he is one of the greatest rappers of his generation, it's just not very good. A lot of times he can't even remember the lyrics to his own songs. But I do still have the theory that Kendrick will bring Lil Wayne out on stage. And if he does that, bringing in the guy who ushered Drake into the game and made him who he is today, that would be insane. His name has already been mentioned in the beef when Kendrick says or not like us. I forgot about that. I forgot about that. It, it, that would be weird though if Lil Wayne was there with Kendrick at the Super Bowl he wouldn't be able to sing that song though because Drake and Lil Wayne cool Girl, while he was in jail so, back ah, in 2010, that'd be and so had weird, to get a bro. tattoo of his face to apologize to him. The next year, in 2011, Lil Wayne would rap on six foot, seven foot, have my heart broken by this woman named Tammy, but hoes gonna be hoes, so I couldn't blame Tammy. Tammy is obviously the woman who smashed both Drake and Lil Wayne back in 2016. Like, do you prefer the company of Drake over Lil? Drake and Lil Wayne. This is why I noticed that people, I haven't, seen, you know what's so crazy? I haven't seen like pictures with Drake and Lil Wayne. Cause I always, you know, I was curious to know like what's going on with them two. They supposed to be like the best of friends and I have yet to see any pictures of them together. Or even made music together. And I was always curious like what's going on with them, you know? Even with Drake and, Lil, and, and uh, Nicki Minaj, I haven't seen any videos or any pictures or anything with them too. So it's like, I don't know what's going on with them. Like, they got some type of, I don't know. And when Lil Wayne released his journal, Gone Till November, he was asked about this situation, and this was what Lil Wayne had to say about that. In the book, there's a part in the book where you say that he came in and told you that he had smashed one of your girls. Oh, yeah. Oh, I wasn't worried about that. I mean, <laughs> you know, I was just, you know, that's just how life go when you locked up. Uh, huh? Yeah, I know. She still be texting me and stuff, you know? They stop texting me too, for real. Cause it still hurt. So to me, he still seemed pretty salty there. And in the official excerpt from the book, you can see how this really bothered him at the time. I woke up still feeling f***ed up about the f***ed up day that I had. Hell is what it was. I'm used to arguing with my girl on a daily basis, but finding out that she f Drake was the absolute worst thing I could have found out. So don't be surprised when Lil Wayne is touching that stage in February. Going to the Super Bowl before and yeah. watching the halftime show. It's nothing like and it. And wishing, you know, like when you see the artist, you're like, 
I know they could have sung the song that I was featured on. I'm featured on everybody's song. <laughs> yeah, they could have yeah, brought me out. Yeah, you could have brought me out. Could have brought me out. Damn. And after watching this clip with Drake completely sun and ignored him back in the day, I wouldn't be surprised if The Weeknd comes out there too, and it's just the Avengers of the Drake That would be cool. Overall, it's just crazy how Kendrick is- I love The Weeknd. I would love to see him perform. Simply returning from the store every couple of months to kick Drake in the balls and laugh in his face. Drake has clearly been unsure of himself since the beef concluded, and Kendrick was a man who in his last album said that he was choosing peace, that he was trying to slow down and dial back his life. But now it's like a damn beast was woken up inside of him to the point where he had to apologize to god for going to war i don't know this is just one of the most insane victory laps i've ever seen it's like when that elephant killed that woman and then i remember that and showed back up at her funeral, funeral and mean, killed her again <laughs> he was the biggest hater and he meant it personally i am looking forward to seeing his performance i do think until then drake is definitely going to be feeling the pressure so it's going to be really interesting to see everything that happens until then i do think this is all very strategic i mean they usually do not announce the super bowl halftime performer till way later in the year but they're really giving this one some time to marinate either way i do want to thank you guys for watching today's video dropping <laughs> i'm starting to like learn a little bits and pieces of what's really going on because i used to be so curious like to know why these certain people don't like each other it gotta be some deeper into it you know because i was still trying to figure out why Nicki Minaj said what she said about jay-z in the other video like she was saying some out-of-pocket stuff you know saying how he's how jay-z is evil and he's all this and i was trying to figure out like why she don't like him like Cause I'm I'm one of those people who was so lost, you know. I'm just now trying to, I'm just now figuring out what's really, really going on, you know. Like something is going on behind closed doors, you know. Um, but <laughs> this whole thing with Drake and Kendrick Lamar, I don't know if they're ever going to become friends again. We don't know. You never know. They might surprise us one day and make a song together. I wouldn't be surprised. I'm one of those people who won't be surprised, you know. Because it's, 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 I don't know. <laughs> it's just crazy to me. But uh, comment below. Let me know how y'all feel about this. Um, definitely gonna read those comments. And uh, make sure you subscribe to my channel. So we're gonna need to subscribe. And I'll see y'all lovely people. Y'all take care. Bye and peace.